The results of the EOS Consumer Study 2023 show that younger people between 18 and 34 years really enjoy dealing with money and finances. But at the same time, they have a strong demand for more financial education, especially in countries like Romania, North Macedonia, Hungary, Czech Republic and Spain. There is a particularly high demand for financial education. And it's really striking that younger people in Western Europe see a lack of knowledge with banks and loans as the reason for their debts. We talked a little about money and finances and debt, and therefore it's really important that we have surveys like this one, which make it really transparent that there's a high need of financial education. It's really important to talk about that topic, but it's even more important to improve financial education. And therefore, we founded the Finland Foundation. Since 2019, our nonprofit organization has been working for better financial literacy in everyday life and against private over indebtedness. We want to help people help themselves as early as possible. Therefore, we start already in elementary school. And you know, reading, writing and calculating are unchallenged life skills. And this should also apply to dealing with money. There are far too less financial education programs at school, although it's such an important subject. I'm 17 years old and I haven't learned how to do my own taxes. Luckily, my parents can help me with that. But what are other younger people supposed to do that don't have any support and are on their own? I talk openly about finances with my friends, but I've noticed that it's a taboo subject for some of them. Money is a big responsibility, but I think that people around me know how to handle it well. We have to be aware of the reality of the young people and should link the topics of money and finances to things they are interested in. For example, social media or gaming. With our Mano Moneta education program, we have a strong connect to the everyday life of the children. And since the lack of financial education is a problem across Europe and regardless of the age of the people, we already started rolling out Mano Moneta internationally and we will be soon launching a new initiative in Germany for older kids from 13 to 17 years. 